Good morning. Uh, I'm here to go over just a pretty basic overview of how to set up a guest VLAN, a segregated virtual LAN network for um, basically wireless and wired guest access for managed switches through our U uh, Ubiquity uh, wireless network switches and, of course, here on the FortiGate 60E. The process is very similar for a FortiGate 80E as well. Um, yeah, you'll basically just be going through the exact same process for that internet security appliance. So, uh, to start off, go to the local IP address for your FortiGate. So in my case, that is https colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.8.1. And then you have to do colon 4443. Accept the invalid self-signed certificate. Log into it, and you should get to a portal that looks like this. Once you're in there, go ahead and slap that network button in the left side bar there that I have highlighted for you. And since this is a voiceover, just give me a few seconds for the transition to take hold. <laughs> All right, so once you've clicked the network button, go to Interfaces. Once you're in Interfaces, click Create New Interface. And then you may want to pause the video right now, or sorry, I guess these slides were out of order. So Create New Interface, uh, and you'll get a view that looks like this. Fill it out with something that looks like this. So just use guest DHCP. It's easy to keep it consistent across the line. VLAN ID, it doesn't really matter. You can pick anything that's over one. I pick 30 or 31 typically for a guest network. Uh, go to addressing mode manual, uh, set up with a different subnet than your current. So I'm 192.168 on my regular, so I'm 172.16 on the guest. Um, click HTTPS, HTTP, and if you do want it to be a usable network, allow ping. If you want it to be strictly guest and you don't want anyone to see each other, I would disable ping. Uh, enable a DHCP server. Make sure that the range is adequate. It should pull it up automatically, but I've set it to dot twenty as the first address, not dot two, just to give me some static room if I do decide to uh, mount some equipment there. And then the rest of the options should look a lot like this. Once done there, go to uh, Policy and Objects. Then we're going to go to IPv4 Policy, and then Create New. You can see I actually have one called Guest DHCP there, so I'll open it up for you. And in your new policy, name it Guest DHCP. Make sure your outgoing interface, it's a little bit backward, but that's where it comes from. So WAN, so Internet, and then Source All. This is a very, very opened up guest network. So it does allow pretty much all of the internet to come through it, but it doesn't allow any of uh, that subnet basically to talk to the interior subnet. So if you set up your config like this, it should be pretty safe and pretty well segregated. Um, I'll go over some access controls, especially if you're using Ubiquiti switches and Wi-Fi, and you have a guest network set up. There are some policies in place on those uh, access points as well that will help you out, but... Just as a basic one, this should be pretty good. All right, moving on to Ubiquity. Log into your cloud controller. I'm going to assume you know how to do that. Go to settings for your site. Little gear icon in the lower left corner. We're going to start with user groups. What these are is it's bandwidth limiting for your guest network. So create a new user group. I called mine guest DHCP. Again, consistency is really handy across the line. Set it up to limit bandwidth if you'd like. I set mine to 8 megabits down, 4 megabits up. Seems like it's absolutely plenty. Um, then let's go up to networks. Create a new network. Uh, select VLAN only. Type in the VLAN and then name it guest DHCP. Then save out of that. Then we're going to go up to wireless networks. So you can see I've already got three networks here, but I'm going to be editing the guest network and then also my thermostats network. And this is basically what you want to do there. Um, this is scrolling a little bit quick, so sorry about that. But um, that should give you an idea. Uh, Ubiquity has the ability to register some guest policies on its own as well. 
And yeah, once once you've applied all this, you should just have your equipment provisioned once and it should be good to go.